What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and today I'm here to give you a tour of the home office lounge as part of the ultimate condo tour series. If you remember late last year, I did do a tour of the office desk, which is where I work at home and showed you the computer side of things, the storage, monitors, and the very techy stuff. So in this video, let's focus on the design aspect with some touches of tech interest, but also some amazing furniture pieces. And if you have a love for furniture and design, then this is the episode for you. And I'm gonna try to link as many of the pieces in the description section of the video as possible. But let's first start out with the shelf. So this right here is the Dieter Ram Svitso shelf. It is a 1960s design and it is the 606 universal shelving system. What makes this shelf unique is that even though there are a lot of different options for white shelving and a lot of which are a lot more affordable, it is a fully customizable system that is extremely high quality and very iconic and it's one that I believe I will keep for a lifetime. And whatever I have on the shelf is what I've developed over the first year of living in this property and things are going to evolve and change here and there but I'm gonna talk about the shelving system and how it's designed, as well as the different pieces that I have on it right now. So when it comes to customizing your 606 universal shelving system, you actually have to go through a consultation process. They'll have you submit things like your space, the size, the type of shelf that you're gonna use it for, and whether you wanna have it as like a compact shelf where you have a desk um, and an actual workspace, or you wanna use it as a media wall or bookshelf. It is very versatile and there's a system of narrow and wide cabinets that you piece together and from there you're able to choose if you want it to be open shelving or if you want it to be drawers of two, three, open cabinets, lock cabinets and over time you can customize it based on your needs. But the system that I went with was to fill about a 12 foot wall and I went with a large cabinet on each side one of which being larger than the other. And in the middle, I have a lock cabinet. So if I'm storing my cameras or watches for a couple days, then I can just go ahead and put it in there. And otherwise, I kept it pretty simple with the shelving system. But what I love about it is that you can either go with a very symmetrical setup or you can also make it a bit offset. And so this is how the finished product came out. I absolutely love it. And I'm actually going to be putting it in my next project as well. And for a very large wall that is next to my desk, it's just an important way to display the things that you love. And I think that's a key aspect of any reading lounge where you can have a balance of tech, memorabilia, collectibles, and your books. In terms of what I have on the Vitzel shelf, let's start from one side to the other. So you're gonna notice that in my house and in my office, I have a lot of different books. Some of them are business books. Some of them are books that are focused on interior design. But I actually started by removing one shelf here and placing one of the House of Spoil prints. But it's a good way to separate one side of your shelf to just have a poster. And here we have the participant certificate for being one of the first to be able to drive the Mercedes-Benz EQXX concept car in Immendingen, Germany. That was probably one of my favorite videos to date. It was one of the first times we worked with Mercedes-Benz. And so I have that here as well as a business award and just a piece here that shows um, my love for architecture, super cool that I found on Uncrate. And in the middle here, I have the clock that you guys have seen before. Love this clock. I think it is missing the letter change. I just couldn't find where I put the extra numbers for that. And some of the other books include like the Kinfolk line, uh, Kinfolk Entrepreneur. And there's a Balmuda piece here that I really like. It is a speaker lamp that I've wanted for quite a while. Above that is a transparent speaker. I have the small one and the large one. And I've seen these on pretty much every one of these shelves or mid-century modern tech interiors and it's a great speaker. Honestly, I've never used it to actually listen to music. Um, this is what the Sonos is for, and this Sonos is the Move 2. What's great about this is in the summers, I actually work out on my terrace, and so just pick it up. It has a charging base. You bring it around with you anywhere. It is not the lightest speaker, so I feel like it's a move around home speaker, but if you want to, you can also bring it around with you in public. It has really good battery life, but it also has voice assistant and you can connect it via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So it serves as a home speaker and one that you can stereo pair, but also as a portable Bluetooth speaker that is more powerful than the typical one. On this side, you can see there are some more speakers, candles, and just stuff that I've already talked about here, 
but this specific piece is from the Genori Museum. When we were on a trip with Four Seasons in Italy, they took us to the Genori Museum and we got to see all of these pieces being made by hand. And for a company that came from the 1700s, it was cool to see the integration of old craftsmanship with modern design and techniques. And in the end, they gave us this gift. And I feel like it's one of these pieces that is kind of ugly, but in a good way. Um, the box looks beautiful, but it's just something to keep here. And I tell everyone about that story and show them the video whenever they come by. But beyond that, I also like to just place our cameras here. Whenever we have like a camera in the office that we're using or testing out, I just have it placed right here. And this is currently the Fuji GFX 102. But now that we've talked about the vid, so let's go ahead and show you guys the rest of the lounge and where I actually chill out. So because we're on the topic of workspaces, lounges, and productivity, I wanna give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Magical. It is a free Chrome extension that you can go ahead and download, and it utilizes AI to bring you the best productivity tool possible, saving you on average 10 hours per week. It utilizes AI and works on every single website, and it's able to save time on boring tasks, especially for things such as emails, texts, as well as filling out forms and spreadsheet. And especially when it comes to work and inputting information, this can be very useful, but especially when it comes to saving time, it is crucial. It is overall really seamless to use and it speeds up repetitive tasks as you work with no integrations, APIs, or magic wands required. Some of the tasks that Magical can automate for you include data entry by filling out form fields instantly from any open tab, messaging where you can use AI to draft messages and text expansion templates to save time, filling out sheets by pulling info from any web page into a Google Sheet with just one click, and so many more. What's really great about it is you can apply it to your workflow really seamlessly and see where it is able to help you and the options are really limitless and you'll start to notice how it contributes to your daily workflow and productivity. So if you guys want to go and check it out for yourself, just visit Get Magical, and I'm gonna leave a link in the top of the description section below. And as I mentioned, it is completely free, and a huge thanks to them once again for sponsoring this video. So now I'm going to talk about the lounge, and it's an extension of the home office that is a room next door, and it's where I sit down, listen to music, maybe curate some things, and also take conference calls. It's an area that is just outside of my main desk that I sit at for most of the day. And I would say that it is really important to have a side chair or just a relaxation area, even within your own office or the room next door, especially if you primarily work from home. In this room, I've curated a few pieces of furniture that I picked up at Gabriel Ross, and they truly are pieces that I will keep for a lifetime. The specifics of this room include the designs of like the wall, some of the art that I picked out, the audio system and speakers that I have that I'm gonna talk about in the headboard, but I'm sitting right here in just the comfortable and cozy couch, which is the Ethnocraft N701. This modular sofa is truly modular because you can decide if you wanna get a one person seater, you can get a two seater, three seater, corner pieces, and I've seen extremely large setups with this sofa and the best part about it is that you can really customize the material and finish that is all the highest quality available. I can say that like the stitching and everything is really nice. It adds a lot of character to the space, but the shape is also relatively unique. This is also a popular accessory that is fun to play around with. And you'll notice that this room is filled with Scandinavian designs. And that is a trend that I've really been following for quite a few years now. As for the table itself, this is the Noguchi by Herman Miller. Herman Miller is an iconic furniture company and perhaps one of the most famous. And we purchased some office desks and a ton of chairs from them, most namely the Aeron and the Embody. But the Noguchi table is a design that you probably see everywhere. It features three quarter inch glass and it also has this wood finish that makes the table look like it is floating and the triangular design that is rounded goes well with any space. And you also see the small etching of Noguchi, the signature of the designer on the front and also on the top. And you can also pick it up in different finishes such as black, 
a walnut, an oak, and in this case, a walnut made the most sense, and that seems to be a continued trend in this space. The rug that everything is sitting on is from Represent, which is the clothing company that I picked up a lot of pieces from, and it's just their emblem from the owner's club, and I think it just adds a touch of what I currently like, as well as my appreciation for classic furniture, and just not to take things too seriously. As for the sliding on the walls, there are many companies that make great slats nowadays. I've had slats from Ender and Willow, as well as the wood veneer hub, and you can pick them up in an oak finish, a walnut finish, and a black finish. And it not only has a great aspect of being able to sound dampen a room and reduce the amount of echo, but it just looks great. And having to do custom slats is something that we've done in the past, but it is a lot of work and a lot more expensive than just purchasing these slats that are pre-made and you can pair it together and it just looks very seamless. I also chose black float in this case just to really highlight the individual slats, but if you can also choose like a light felt to go with it as well, but overall, these slats are a really good way to add things to your home office, your bedroom, or your lounge. And I'm really happy that I did it because you'll notice that there's just many aspects of vertical lining throughout my condo. Pretty much all the furniture pieces that you guys have seen in this episode though, and the lounge, it was all picked up from the same place, and that is Gabriel Ross. I remember being a lot younger and visiting their beautiful showroom in Victoria, and eventually I picked up my first Herman Miller piece, which was the Aeron, and I still have that same Aeron chair to this day, and over time, you kind of build a taste in furniture and things that you like, and I'm really happy that we've been able to come together on this project, and I picked up quite a few pieces from Ethnocraft, Herman Miller and Blue Dot, and those are brands that I'll continue to use in all my future projects, including one that is coming up very soon and is in progress right now. They have an amazing selection of all of the most iconic brands in the world, including Knoll, Herman Miller, Muto, Ethnocraft, Blue Dot, and B&B Italia, and so much more. And essentially every single original piece that you're looking for when it comes to high-end furniture, you're going to find at Gabriel Ross. And if you're located in the US, you can also check out their website, Modern Planet, to see their wide selection of amazing furniture and accessories. So this actually used to be a walk-in closet, but based on the size of the room, I figured it would make a lot more sense just to open it up and add my own storage that allows you to have a little display area because it was being used as a lounge and the sideboard that I went with is the Ethnocraft stair. It is in a black varnished oak and you can see all the beautiful wood grains and details extremely well crafted and just like all the other Ethnocraft products that I picked up for this unit and it is available in a two, a three and a four door option and the three door one just fit perfectly. I think it looks amazing. It's again a piece that I'm going to keep for a very long time and when it comes to what I have it behind this it is just some pieces from House of Spoils. Really high quality prints in line with my aesthetic. They have car stuff, they have landscapes, and all these come pre-framed. You can pick the color of the frame as well as the size. And so I've just had a few laid out here. And some of the other accessories that I have on the actual sideboard is this travel book from Gray Mellon and it just has all these different photos. Fun to be able to flip through and the speakers are the Bio Sound Balance from Bang & Olufsen. Very high-end speakers and I would say it's a bit overkill for a lounge layout but they look incredible and they sound amazing. This stereo pair right here is one that you can either use on its own or have a few combined together but it is extremely powerful and you can see it has quite a bit of size as well. You can go with the marble, you can also go with the dark finish, and of course the aluminum one that I have right here. It definitely comes in at a very premium price point and if it is the main speaker in your space, it could be worth it, but you are also paying for the design. And next to that is a buster and punch lamp that I've had for quite a while and one that you guys have seen in some of my other spaces. So. This side of the lounge is really just an area to chill, display different things. Um, I might put like a Lego set here, but the best part about it is that just like the Vitzel shelf, I can really rotate what I want to put there based on my preferences. And so having different pieces and touches that tied to the things that you enjoy and trying to develop that over time is what makes a lounge setup a lot of fun. So within the home office lounge, the trend that you guys have seen throughout this video is that I've tried to integrate areas where I can hang out, relax, but something that is also really important to me is being able to multitask. And in the home office, I actually have a projector up there, and a lot of times I'll have a projector screen roll down, and that's how I'm able to watch hockey while I'm working. But 
You can see this area of the home office and lounge connects to the terrace, but here I also have a media console that has all of the tech that houses the speaker systems as well as the projector and cable and all that fun stuff as well as a printer. And what I've tried to do is make the place look as leisurely as possible. Being a tech YouTuber, there is still a lot of visible tech, but this is a way that I've been able to hide it and that is the Blue Dot Dang. The Blue Dot Dang is a really good console table if you're looking for a dresser or a TV stand. It's available in a few different sizes and some of which are all drawers. But one thing I really like about this specifically is that it actually has an open cabinet and within that, there is a metal finish on the top here, which means it lets the tech breathe. It really is a nice design touch, and I think this combination of color looks great. It is really heavy and solidly built. And on top of it, I just have a set machine from Edition Hotels. It is the Era. There's also just a set of books here, just like the rest of the place. And this is one of my favorite lamps. It is the Menu Joida, I think it's how it's pronounced, and it's available in like a concrete finish as well as a walnut finish, and I believe a black one as well, but it just gives a nice glow and minimalism to it, and one way I've really tried to decorate this room is by adding more lights. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and this has been a tour of my lounge setup, which shows you the home office element of the Vitso shelf and the office theater, as well as the lounge that I just sit, relax, listen to music, take conference calls, and if you guys wanna go ahead and check out my home office tour, I have a video of that as well. But as always, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and watch the other episodes from the series, and I'll see you all in the next one.